guys welcome back to the channel I'm out here at my little range here pretty early in the morning kind of humid but it's gonna get really hot today so I want to get out early and shoot so I'm gonna shoot two different loads that I've worked up for my 243 uh, 95 grain Sierra tipped match King it's got a cartridge overall length of 2.837 I ended up going with 2.808 that's where I set it I'm using 41 grains of IMR 4350 so we're gonna see what kind of velocity we get standard deviation all that and we're also gonna see what kind of groups we get and then here in a little bit I'm gonna shoot a 90 grain Nostler e-tip going with a measurement of 2.665 on that e-tip quite a bit further back than the tips match King and it has 43 grains of IMR 4350. So I'm hoping that the 90 grain is going to go around 3100. I'm hoping that the uh, Match King is going to go around 2850, something like that. All right, so you can see right there on the left is the 90 grain E tip. It actually is pushed out there pretty far. The uh, groove there to crimp is sticking out. So it is pushed out pretty far. However, it you know, on any kind of monolithic bullet, they want you to get back quite a ways, 50 thousandths or whatever. So that's where I settled on that. That Sierra tipped match king is way out, um, well beyond the cartridge overall length. However, it feeds fine with zero issues and it fits in this Savage Axis magazine without any trouble. So stay tuned. All right, not too shabby. I feel like I shot okay. I've definitely shot better, but it wasn't bad. By the way, there's I shot those four just to get the barrel fouled. <laughs> it's a pretty good group. Shot those five. So obviously there's some right to left movement. It's about an inch group though. I'm not upset with that. But, you know, like, I didn't feel like I shot perfectly. I give myself a 7 out of 10, but pretty good in good group. I'm definitely happy with it. All right, <clears throat> I will tell you, I actually felt more comfortable and felt better about my shots on this one than I did those, which should tell you the Match King is just superior in accuracy, or at least the loads that I created. Felt really good about this group. Obviously, it's not as good. So you're, it's about an inch and a half group. Uh, but man, it, I felt good shooting it. At 100 yards, that's, that's not a bad group. Inch and a half out of a monolithic, um, 3,100 feet per second. No complaints whatsoever. Definitely kill a deer, which, by the way, I have killed one deer with this E-tip, uh, 243 bullet. Never killed anything with these Game Kings, but I'm thinking about using them for coyotes this winter. So stay tuned for that. But hey, I'll take that. All right, I'll put on the screen now the average muzzle velocity, extreme spread, standard deviation, and the group size for these Nossler E-tips. Overall, I think it's a great round, 
and I think I've got it set just about where I want it. Not the most accurate, but gives me plenty of velocity, and overall, pretty happy with it. I feel like these Sierra tipped Match Kings are deadly accurate. The group that I shot with these, I didn't even feel like I shot as good as the E-tips. And then that first group, which might have been the best, I was literally just quickly shooting a few loads. I mean, not quickly, but just shooting a, fl a few loads just to foul the barrel, not even trying to make a group. It's like you would have to try really hard to not get a good group with these Match Kings. So they're just phenomenally accurate. I feel like I could do better too. I feel like if I really took my time, I could get an even better group. But you see all the numbers on the screen here and you see how they compare. So which one do you think is the best? What is your preference? Any comments, please leave it below. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. More videos like this coming. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, take care.